So am I proud of this month? Do I have good stats to show? Well, yes and no. We we did not dip below uh, December, but we did dip below January, which is understandable. Uh, the spring is coming, you know, people don't want to just sit around and watch YouTube all day. Maybe that's the case. Maybe views drop for everyone. Right? I don't care. Uh, but yeah, still people might have like a little bit less patience. It doesn't mean that I'm not growing. Uh, this was just an anomaly that my channel would grow 1.7 times. All right, 70% in uh, one month. It's just uh, the most impossible thing. So this actually seems quite reasonable. Also, February is a small month. So uh, no big deal there. Is it 29 days? It's only 28 days. So ridiculously small month. I would get like 66 uh, hours at least watched. Again, yeah, this little number indicates everything, even though I should have made it goddamn bigger. So we went this in December to this in January and this right now. Um, which is still, for me, if you ignore this, because Mark Passy just blew up my channel, uh, if you ignore that fact, then yeah, it's just, it's just a steady growth, kind of. All right, maybe because springtime is coming, warmer times are coming, people want to go outside and not watch YouTube. Who knows what the factors are? Um, even though, again, I, I'm accumulating more knowledge, and uh, I would expect actually a steady growth. So I'm offended, as, as I should be. Anyways, let's see what concepts have uh, received views. All right. Should be quite uh, fascinating. All right. So, uh, and and again, I'll, I'm going to be poking more and more people, activating more people to encouraging them to watch my videos. So uh, potentially people are going to get overly, over time more and more excited to participate and uh, boost my, you know, stats somehow. Obviously, the main thing uh, still let uh, is left untouched, which is my YouTube CEO rank. In order to remove it, you have to give me a hundred hours of watch time on a single video, which you will not be able to find anymore. But that's that's the whole fucking point. All right. You're not gonna find my crown. I'm not gonna always wear my crown. All right. Just, uh, anyways, so let's see. Schools are bullshit. That's cool. We can, uh, you know, do lo-fi beats because we're gonna uh, transition into eating candy. So that's cool. All right. So uh, let the award show begin. Uh, schools are bullshit. So don't get enslaved. Received one hour. This is where we start. Uh, so if bullshit receives stuff, well, it doesn't. I'll just trade the clock, man. I'll just steal the clock, man. Uh, AI is nightmare. These are like new videos, by the way. Shape shifting. It's all mine. Uh, now Elder Scrolls Legends. Arena. This is an old video, by the way. There's just one view on this one, but someone watched uh, half of the thing. So that's very fascinating stuff that uh, I just captured someone's attention. And YouTube still decided not to give me more views because it's too big of a niche, basically. Uh, it's... I only got three impressions, though. Like, what, what are you talking about? Too big of a niche? It's a fucking card game thing. You can do better than that, YouTube. I don't understand how YouTube just gives so little views to actually like active YouTube channels. I still don't understand that. That's still baffling to me. You know, there's still supposed to be more consumers than content creators. That's the whole idea. But, uh, you know, because they want to earn money, they don't want to. Uh, uh, 
help other, uh, help small YouTube channels. That it's not their intention. All right, small YouTube channels supposed to grow for some reason. That's stupid. Never heard of that before. And never thought about it, because it's stupid. So uh, there's another dude that actually watched and commented on Solo Arena 2. And that's cool. And probably the same dude got gave me two views or whatever. Some stupid shit. Um, so Elder Scrolls Legends, we, we got to check everything now because uh, it, it's, it popped out. So uh, it shows up two times, three times, and uh, that's it. So we're going to give three hearts. We might play a, a deck very soon. Yes, I, I got a little bit upset, but uh, I'm, I'm sure that's fixable. Virginity's Gold is actually an old video. And uh, uh, still received a little bit of attention, so that's good. Um, still my video, though. Susan Wojcicki's uh, a special video, but I expected a little bit more watch time. There you go, Susan. You got that heart you wanted that you will not be able to spend because who cares, right? Well, I I do have an hour of content I still haven't watched. And there's a few more interviews, I imagine. There's the Runiverse Part 3. Alright? The not so... Uh, not so controversial, I believe. I'm, I don't remember. I yeah, it, it's me playing against bots. That that was the idea. Runeverse really suffering from uh, just cancer in general. So <laughs> bear that in mind. I'm also gonna drain the clock for Runeverse. It's almost gonna celebrate second birthday. It's amazing. Not the dislikes, Dark Matter Part 2. And I believe Dark Matter Part 1 as well. It actually received three, so it gets two hearts. And then uh, Dark Matter Part 2. So people were invested. Actually, in Part 2, people were quite nice. Uh, but uh, still, being nice, it's just a pendulum swing. It's still out of uh out of control basically whether people are nice or uh ugly disgusting disliking all my videos basically is, is what was happening but they they stopped very quickly so uh you know it's funny but they just stopped i still gotta gotta sub but i ignore that stuff um because subscriptions is, is a very complicated thing. If I get a subscription, will they actually watch my videos? Or what's going to happen? Will they find proper content? Where are they going to invest their eyeballs into? I will be able to see that with watch time anyways. So, no big deal. Dark mat. Summon and plus three hearts. Congratulations, you healed your wounds a little bit. Still bleeding, though. Uh, Mark Passio has is still ranking the highest uh, thing on my channel, and it's pretty scary still to, to have him here and to bump my viewership by, what, 15% uh, at least? Pretty scary stuff. So I made now three parts on Mark Passio, and uh, the fourth one is not coming anytime soon, but if my channel keeps blowing up like this and he has infinite amount of content for me to scream at, I mean, sure, I'm down. So uh, one point here, three points here, and two points here in total of six points. Max gets maximum amount of points, as he should. He has eight. This is not okay, Max. You can stop now.
Actually, Andrew Tate is also getting a little bit of recognition. Very nice. The, the second video, in fact. So the first one was last month, and uh, this one is the second part. So, uh, but I, I also don't think Tate is gonna be uh, saved somehow. But let's go through everything in order. So, uh, uh, my introduction, getting decent amount of views, very good. 30 reasons, I explain my channel, I actually get a sub from this, very good stuff. That means the video is, uh, well, doing its trick. Nostalgia's bullshit, very good. My friend watched this, watched this video, so, uh, it's not, nothing special than, uh, Deadwing fan who joined my Discord probably watched this video, not, not much else. Oh, well, actually, uh, one and a half views, technically. Um... Still just one heart though. And I don't I don't wanna to touch that wing to be honest. It's shit. It's shit content. Most dudes I don't wanna to touch, man. Uh they're just too far gone, I'm not gonna lie. Mr. Beast actually got me some views, so congratulations, Mr. Beast. Mm-hmm. I've heard the slow fi beat before. It's so painful. I've heard this before. Can you imagine? This is so scary. This is the scariest thing that could happen to you. Hearthstone. Hearthstone does not show up other than this. Uh, actually, a review of the mini set got a little bit of watch time. So we have to keep that in mind that, you know, reviewing cards is a reasonable thing to do. It's it's a way to get to know people, I, I hope. It, it was pretty fun to do, so... Well, congratulations, Hearthstone. You got a fan. Literally, Hearthstone is in jail right now. Mine is 15. You got a, some fan mail, Hearthstone. Get the fuck out of here. No one likes you. Alright, no one actually uh, commented on this one. It had a lot of impressions, too. So, uh, it was inevitable, basically. There's people, you know, searching for this stuff, I imagine. Tinder immediately got three hours. And that's it. Well, besides Tate. So, Tate gets... Actually, Tate is getting as much views as, as Mark Passio. Fuck me, bro. I'll have to do videos on these guys forever. I will never escape their grasp. This is so sad. Well, it is what it is, guys. Tinder. Two hearts. Good stuff. Let's double check Tinder. We're done with, with, the, we're done with this thing very quickly. We can look a little bit below one hour, just to see if there's anything going on that's interesting. Are some duels, Elder Scrolls Legends, shoes still. Uh-huh. Susan Wojcicki. This is, this is the one I, I thought I would get a lot more watch time, but I didn't. Uh, I just got some subscribers. It is what it is. Understandable. Maybe... Uh, Susan is not a respected person. <laughs> I mean, for sure. But, for me it is. And, uh, people that not watch Influence Striker just yet. This is important because, you know, people need to touch grass, somehow. Alright, as quickly as possible. Uh, and because we, we don't live outdoors, it's not that, dip, uh, that easy to do. Uh, hmm... I'll do it. Okay. So, I, I don't see nothing, guys. Now, is there a pattern, right? Is there a pattern? Well, obviously. <laughs> the, the most obvious pattern. Also, guys care about women to some extent. So, if you just... Uh, not necessarily talk about a specific woman, but you just... Uh, 
uh, highlight those hot topics for, for dudes. You're probably gonna get some views from that. It's interesting. Uh, it's something to be explored. Because, you know, the the virginity is gold video. And no fab blew up last time, so... Uh, but this time it didn't, so... Because the, the thumbnail is really sexually insane, alright? It's not even on the list. Even though it should be, but, you know, maybe I messed something up. I don't care, bro. Deal with it. Hmm. The only thing I could have really messed up is not put uh, NoFap into the bullshit list. So let me double check. Well, I did put it in there. It's it's weird. It's weird. But I think it's because of the thumbnail. Uh, anyways. Let's see what else. Uh, so, so that's the pattern. Now the card games actually fell off a little bit. I, I believe they were at uh, fourth place, ish. But still, you know, still kind of occupies respectable places. So, Soul Arena Guide, the first version, actually still gets more views than the second version, which is uh, when I'm a little bit more experienced and I spent less time explaining things. So it, it was an intense one. The second one is intense experience. So also Tinder is still gonna be growing, I imagine. But you, when you see these spikes, they just fall off the next time, the next day. Uh, Andrew Tate held on the longest, it looks like. Then Dark Matt kinda held on a little bit. Uh, Mark Passio fell. And, uh, but came back here, eh, yeah, these, these spikes are the biggest videos, so. And now Tinder is actually destroying everyone, fucking Tinder destroying everyone. Technically, I like that, because Tinder, there, there's a lot of uh, potential in Tinder as well, not just like attacking certain YouTubers, there's a lot of potential. So, it really feels like a mining operation, uh, trying to get somewhere, trying to get something out of YouTube. Uh, you, technically, it's like taking a ransom from a person, but it's more like taking a ransom from the ground. It is definitely mining, because you... Well, you get to fight monsters, like in Minecraft. It's a different kind of mi mining. You open a cave system and you get, you get to explore some monsters in that cave system. Uh, getting 14 subscribers this month, phenomenal. I believe that's the best month. I don't actually track the amount of su subscribers I get, but uh, this definitely is the biggest growth and technically marks another 10% bump on the subscriber count, which is... Uh, uh, something a any YouTuber would want in a month, right? 10% is pretty juicy. Uh, and as I learn how to work harder and harder, I should be able to, you know, uh, make less mistakes and make my effort count way more. So uh, that's that. Let's uh, switch uh, to the candy. Oh, that took me just 20 minutes, guys. Last time I think it took a lot longer than that. Maybe I was like commenting on videos and how I feel about them. I, I could show you guys the comments too, but that's real irrelevant. Uh, did something like stood out? I thought Susan Wojcicki would get me a lot more watch time as I've said. But other than that, it is what it is. It's kind of self-explanatory in a way but I don't want to dig too deep either. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, it looks like everything is working just fine. Alright, so candy, guys. Last time we have completed December candy, and now we are going for January candy. 
Let's see what we got in there. Wait, what the f Oh, it's memes. Memes don't get evaluated. A lot. A lot of candy, guys. And here we are, right? What? Wait, why did I not finish the, f the goddamn candy? Oh, it's the candy box. No one likes that one. That one is scary. Bitcoin sucks, man. Should I try anyways? It's so big. The candy box is huge. It's disturbing. Alright. Let's just do that one. And mark our calendar as well. Very understandable. Uh, you don't want to live a boring life. That's what YOLO is all about. You only live one time. So if you get indoctrinated that life has restraints that you cannot break and uh, master, uh, unfortunately, that's not true. All right. Basically, everything is possible. It just happens slowly. So you have to have patience and ability to attract the right things, the correct things. When people say, be careful what you wish for, when you just aim your magnet at something and it attracts something, uh, you have to also observe it and move it around a little bit and help it, you know, come to you all the way. And because I'm attracting the entire continent of America, it takes a little bit of time. All right. It's, it's a problem that I have to solve somehow, but you know, I have plenty of years to wait for America to come to me. All right. I can't come. So I need a, I keep buying bigger and bigger magnets for that shit. Hmm. Hmm, I, I don't know where to put uh, Tinder in, but I could, I could also squeeze it into one of those, either the Fuss video, because uh, it, it kind of fits the bill, right? The Fuss around me locally with the girls and stuff of how they feel. It's pretty important stuff. Uh, or here, because we're eating candy, but I, I don't it's. It's not the correct vibe, I don't think. The fuss kind of fits. And, uh, well, it doesn't have a second concept like this video does. I don't know. Uh, it depends. All right. Technically, every, every single video should have a home. Like, even on, just like on Fridays, I play Tavern Brawl. I could do certain things on Mondays. Like, make uh, special updates for this button game. But forcing things to happen like that is is not okay. It's, it never works. It just ha happens, have, have to ha occur naturally. Or it uh, uh, turns off uh, lo-fi beats, because that also is a very interesting part of this. Uh... Why is it so... I don't know, bro. Nah, it's it's fine. I don't I don't need it loud. Ah, <sighs> all right. Let's keep going, guys. Got a, a lot of candy in here, potentially. I don't no long. I no longer feel the same way about this one, which makes it you know unique experience. Uh, but it's it's still. Looking back, like, oh, the most beautiful girl with all the reach in the world is incapable of solving a simple problem of building relationships that turn into, you know. But, like, it's not like Selena knows how to solve problems. That's the whole point. Celebrities are cool and they have interesting skills, but they don't, don't have ability to actually uh, learn any reasonable new skills that uh, a normal person would need to have everyone elevates a celebrity into a special uh, uh on special standards and uh it's very difficult to be normal again 
It almost, it's almost so much pressure of like nothing. Uh, you can't do normal things anymore, or you you're gonna be shamed. So, uh, and again, you must understand that celebrity is a new phenomenon uh, because of YouTube, because of the internet, and it will continue evolving and changing. This whole concept of being famous will definitely keep changing, and and now we'll have tremendously more competition to deal with. But people who can break through competition or being suffocated, who can break through that, will still be very, very successful. It's just a, a different level of a challenge is presented in this case. And, well, popular kids will always struggle to make, uh, to have real uh, substance, live substance that makes them happy and well shadow people will struggle to connect to anyone whatsoever similarly but um get get any kind of positivity from people so uh in a way popular kids get no negativity or they just filter it out by default and uh i i get no positivity and uh i don't attract any positivity in the shadows it's just what happens in the shadows. Like, no one wants to go in the shadows and uh, care about people in the shadows. No one is kind enough to do that or have enough sanity or realize that there's value here. Uh, so it's really heartbreaking stuff. Maybe we can push through it and uh, the moment we enter this new generation, it's gonna bring back light or sanity to a lot of things and uh, we can just uh, escape this world of extremes. But it looks like I'm gonna be YouTube CEO and live in in the shadows, right? I, it's it can possibly be the case. All right, I have to be prepared that my life could change at any moment. Uh, and there's another realm between between uh, besides those three, like popular kids or shadows or normies there's a ascension realm where uh, you come from a certain location but you have solved your thing all right so if you live in shadows and you get the light you solved everything uh if you live in the, the light and you get uh, a meaning of life because you literally just living in a blank space you don't know what to do so the only thing you do is just like try to express how blank your life is and that every single relationship kind of matters and money doesn't matter you know and you're trying to attract the most vile creatures of the world because like everything is becoming boring because everyone is trying to protect you from uh simple problems so you have to deal with big problems it's a complicated thing because i don't really know the popular kids world too well there's still a lot of things to explore but that's as best as i can describe and i'm very ashamed of how i described it so better luck next time go next better luck next time now that one's very good all right if i don't like you and i can't try to change your mind this applies to Max most importantly, because he's the star of the show. Um, on things by contacting you before I'm being judged, you do not hold any authority. Uh, you know, if if I have valid criticism, I go in front of the line. That was the Stefan Molyneux way, all right? And he's banned from the platform for some reason, I don't know. I guess uh, great minds ban get banned alike. <laughs> that's that's the you know slogan of YouTube. Not really. I think Stefan only was quite controversial, but he also put in a lot of work and talked to people, which is so respectable. I can't understand how he had, how, how how that guy disappeared. I under, I can understand 
Alex Jones disappearing and some other controversial uh, figures, but Stefan Molyneux, bro, that's some crazy shit. I still don't get it. I still don't get that one. So, uh, but I still couldn't actually contact Stefan Molyneux. There was still a wall between me and uh, him, even though he would uh, invite people to the show. It's too complicated, all right? Set up your stupid Discord and just uh, let, let people, you know, express themselves and then you just read their shit and react to it. So way, way simpler, all right? And when you're realizing... And then a lot more people can express themselves because a lot of more people will make a mistake of sending uh, stupid, uh, stupid self-expressions of whatever their problem is. If you just send candid, that would be nice. But uh, let's break down this a little bit further. So again, and I can't change your mind. You do not ha hold any authority. All right. Uh, basically, most people just block you, or uh, there's other manipulation tactics where you receive the message, but you don't change your mind. You just keep going forward. So you just basically uh, just discard criticism, but you're too. You would be too ashamed to just block someone. There's different ways to. Be ignorant, basically, but it uh, has the same result. You will lose authority, you will leak authority over time. The moment you are not good enough on this platform, the moment you're getting out-competed, this is the the key moment, the key thing that will out-compete you way faster than normal if you do not defend yourself. because. You hold authority by being first and being the leader of the whatever community you lead or whatever. But if you do not respond to criticism, your leadership goes to mm, just just vanishes, my friend. Just uh, withers away. You thought you uh, and again, a lot of people are desperate and anxious to be in front of everyone else. They want to be faster and get there. And it's a slave mentality. And again, you will run out of resources a lot faster than you think with that sort of mentality. Fair enough with me, all right? Everyone is gonna get tested, basically, if they can uh, hold their authority. Technically for COVID, because COVID stands for the crown. Anyone who holds authority also has to hold a title of some kind, right? And uh, still, to this day, YouTubers do not hold any titles whatsoever, and it's not acceptable anymore from my point of view, and this point of view is gonna spread like wildfire eventually, all right? As I keep trolling people with uh, my suggested titles, which are very nasty titles, but it is acceptable in my point of view because you don't have any titles, so might as well, I'll stick you with uh, a brutal one, all right? That's still respectful, still not to, uh, uh, to calling you an asshole or something. Uh, that's uh, like a swear word mix or invented swear word. I'm just uh, saying what it is, how it is. And uh, we'll, we'll have to collect a lot of titles in here. Because we'll have to name a lot of people. Especially if we have uh, beef with them, all right? We gotta name them. They can't name me because I have a title. All right, and the moment they have a title, I'll probably respect it or make fun of their title in a different way. All right, now I'll try to break it down and just compare it. Are, are they doing what they're supposed to do, basically? Because again, the moment you post that on your YouTube channel, it changes the whole fucking game, especially when whenever you have to post a comment down below, everyone sees the title as well even if they ignore the channel name. But no one can do that. No one can ignore that title anymore. It's just a part of your identity. It's crazy powerful. That is a scary one too, man. Unfortunately, people will slowly realize that their ignorance is creating an environment where the content is 
YouTube poop level, basically. This poop level is for children, basically. And this is what you get bumped into. I mean, already, the most uh, viewed video is Baby Shark, which is cr crappy song, right? Like, why is this a thing? Obviously, it's the most, not the most influential song. But then, what is the most influential song? What is going on? How do you even begin to understand what's going on when uh, kids' channels are taking over, uh, India is taking over? All right, so we we only know Mr. Beast and PewDiePie. What what else do we know? We don't know shit, bro. We don't know shit. The next, the next YouTube creator is somewhere <laughs> far, far away from being visible by all people, which is hilarious and devastating at the same time. This is what ignorance does. We just, uh, we don't know anything anymore. We don't know how to become adults uh, on this platform because it's, it's turning itself into a uh, extreme case of just uh, uh, a playground, but extreme playground where you you gotta play, and you gotta play fast to even exist. Uh, but then, uh, in the end, people just throw shit at each other because we get bored very quickly, too. And throwing shit is never boring. Or creating shit. Uh, again, some, some things are better than others, and I can't wait to discover some of that, but it's a hard process. Uh, well, funny enough, well, I have enough YouTube channels I'm subscribed to, I will not run out of content to make for at least half a year, if not more. I care about enough people, I don't even need new people in my life anymore. Uh, or at least, well, half a year, as I say. We'll see what happens. But I'm, I'm not nowhere close in finishing what I've started, which is very satisfying and a little bit overwhelming, but it's fine. So, yeah, another, ju just to a reminder again, there's children on the platform now that will reduce the quality of the content because people will always try to appeal to children, try to clean their content, and that's not, not interesting to me. Uh, I want to grow with the platform, and uh, it will be, it will get harder, harder and harder to find proper YouTube videos to watch. However, you know, there's, there's plenty of podcasts. I guess I don't know what, what I'll be watching, guys, in the future. I'm very scared for my future. If I don't find friends on YouTube uh, alone, I don't. I might actually start struggling, but uh, if I keep steadily growing like this, maybe maybe we can dodge this problem. This is basically triggered by YouTube Rewind. Alright. YouTube Rewind is where... Because in January, that's all I was thinking about is... Man, there's so much YouTube poop in terms of uh, other people making YouTube Rewind. And that's the ne literally the next thing that I featured. So yeah, I was thinking about that. Um, is this understandable? No, no. YouTube Rewinding gotta be serious. I think it gotta be serious. It can't just be appealed to children anymore. Uh, in a way, it can be fun and exciting even to everyone, everyone, but your audience is to appeal to YouTubers first, and YouTubers will break down the YouTube Rewind for themselves, all right? However they want. So all you have to do is appeal to YouTubers first, and then they will appeal to younger audiences because how else, right? So I gotta be the, the adult in the room YouTubers are kind of like uh, young adults, and young adults can talk to their teenage 
uh, versions of people tr uh, trying to be YouTubers potentially tr or just admiring their work, whatever. So you get the idea. Uh, and seeing that YouTube Rewind has degraded into poop version uh, scared the shit out of me. Because there is a big difference between uh, high production stuff and whatever a random kid does. Alright, literally, I followed random kid. That was the name. Now we're not friends anymore. But he made a YouTube Rewind and uh, he keeps making it every single month. Uh, and it's not bad quality, but it's not like professional made quality like someone has to be making youtube rewind but even mr beast couldn't fucking do it and adopt this thing he just got too scared and potentially thinking that this is actually quite controversial for him too so all these authorities or seemingly youtube authorities just dropped the whole thing it's so funny to look at and uh i don't remember we can look into that it's so it's the funniest thing ever Mr. Beast Rewind was evaluated at fairly low, lower than PewDiePie's. Yep. Because it, it just featured a lot of cringe creators. I don't understand, bro. And uh, he tried to do different concepts as well that are also very controversial. as like show shouting out random people. It's it's crazy stuff. It, he, it's like dropping a a bomb of popularity on a random person, and it really twists their life in a terrifying way. This it's terrifying to actually be popular. It's a very interesting social experiment, but it should have been just that, you know, instead of uh, being a random thing that Mr. Beast ha is able to do, as always. Well, we'll get Mr. Beast one day, for all his crimes to humanity. Oh yeah, we, we're getting a combo here, so let's keep reading. You didn't what? You didn't do what society told you to do. Oh, what does that mean? I don't. I don't even know, man. I don't even know. I, I, well, I do know it's uh, social pressure and uh, people uh, hate YouTube Rewind now, so they don't, don't want it back, and now it's YouTube Poop, so it's like rightfully hateable. If that, if you wanted to hate YouTube Rewind, now is your chance. Uh, unfortunately, I will still try and prevent people from hating YouTube Rewind as a concept, simply because I own it to begin with. I own most of the videos now, uh, in obvious ways, because I like them so much. I like them more than uh, any other person on this platform, I believe. That's how you buy things. Um, so, uh, I, I still don't get it, dude. I, st I still don't get it. Society. It's so confusing. It broke the streak, man. Yeah, every time there's silence, people just leave. Sometimes you just leave. There's silence right here and just drops viewership. Hilarious, dude. Like, why would you do that? But it is what it is, man. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Pity is is a shitty form of niceness in, in the first place. And that's what you get when you uh, tell people your situation that you live in shadows and you're just way smarter than everyone else. And you're just dis completely disconnected from society. But in a way, I'm not completely disconnected. I'm just now it's connected in a smart way. Uh, it is, it's, it's so complicated. People being nice, uh, is completely worthless to me. 
because uh, they, they don't know how to actually improve my life or solve my problems. But I, I still don't... Like, I understand, but I, I don't resonate with this message, unfortunately. This was before court. This was the shot, the ultimate shot that I want to spend time with people I love. Not that I remember that in court. Not that I would have been able to improve my situation, because nobody cares about anything there anymore. It's just archaic system that have probably died already, but uh, it's still operating, you know? Something can die, but still operate because it hasn't been replaced yet. But yeah, like I have plenty of time and now I can spend it with and spread love and happiness to myself, most importantly. Generate love and happiness and may maybe give it to someone, all right, at some point. But for now, I'll just keep it to myself. Thank you very much. Saying spread love and happiness sounds like bleeding to me, all right? So I'll keep it to myself. Thank you very much. And uh, if people are angry or uh, they like my style, doesn't phase me, all right? It doesn't change the way I feel about most people, which is they're garbage and uh, they don't not going to get anything. If they stop, unless they stop being garbage, they're not gonna get anything from the internet, all right? It, despite internet be improving, you can only reach uh, and grab valuable things on the internet based on your skills of, your reach skills. Everything else is, uh, it's not gonna work out very well. It's important to find, okay. Because again, like, I, I just covered shape-shifting, where people uh, turn into different creatures, a, a chicken sandwich, carrot stick, apparently. All these different meme characters, for no good reason. Uh, it's, it's terrifying to look at. Uh, they embody all these different concepts, trying to get a little bit of attention. That's attention whoring, for sure. People call me attention whore on Cyric's uh, Discord channel where I got banned. So that doesn't matter anymore, right? <laughs> attention whore, yeah. And you are a secret whore. Are you trying to hide a lot of things, are you? A very interesting relationship we can have. Uh, it is what it is, man. It's important, uh... Yeah, welcome to the Shadow Realm. I don't think I covered Shadow Realm until the end of January. Discover the concept, even. But here's where it starts, you know. Find people in society who have very little but remain happy. You know, despite having very little. If you pay attention how life works, you will find happiness. It's just a very simple principle. And uh, it, it saves the day for all the shadow people who are struggling day in and day out. But as long as you remain happy, people will start noticing that you have something most people don't. Which is uh, very fascinating too. And uh, again, celebrities can look happy, but they have to, alright? They are, they, they have to force happiness no matter what. Because if they're unhappy, they're going to get cancelled immediately. Just snapped out of existence. They have to squeeze happiness out of everything. Uh, and I, I'm i allowed to not be happy all the time. Or uh, shine with positive emotions. Alright, I don't have to do that. The fact that I can be happy. That is a uh, indication that I, you know, I'm a strong person. And well, yeah, popular kids have to know how to be angry sometimes or uh, possess negative emotions. But I'm not sure, again, I understand the popular world well enough, despite staring at it for hours and hours. 
do they have to know how to get angry? Technically, yes, it's it's kind of addicting too to beat up some uh, noobers and people actually praise that behavior quite a bit. So uh, celebrities do have to know how to kind of deal with drama a little bit in a professional way because literally they don't know how to do it. They all always filter it out. So being able to actually handle drama properly is quite also a powerful skill. Ah, I should have said something like this in a shape-shifting uh, video. There's no time for manipulation, you just get hurt in the process and everything resets. Alright, so you create a fake personality to shape-shift into a fake personality. You get defeated, you get ashamed, you can switch targets if you want. If it, you still feel successful, your success rate of winning is like 90% still, and you just bumped into a very vicious person like myself, who can actually defend himself, congratulations. But as we grow older, I will uh, try my best to uh, reduce manipulation on the platform. I mean, why not? It's such a nonsense thing to do in the first place, and it reduces fun to begin with. Uh, and it's very fun to stop manipulation sometimes, and to uh, reset the progress that they have done. Uh, you know, investigate, uh, how did you get, you know, the legend rank of whatever, you know? How did you get all those subscribers of yours? What kind of manipulation did you use? And once you f once we figure out all those little tricks, we might get offended. Might, might not like it. We might ask that person to reset and uh, give away all the things they have accumulated, which are, you know, basically going to be confiscated because uh, it is not rightfully theirs. In fact, it's kind of funny, perhaps, that... That's what Rewind is supposed to do in the first place. Reset all manipulation that happened on the platform. Perfect. Alright. I should focus on that too. But uh, it just kind of... My Rewind contains everything. Everything, bro. It contains everything. Literally, name a thing and it contains that thing. I don't know. Name a thing. <laughs> It's, it's crazy to, to look back and it's like my first rewind and it contains everything and I'm so proud of it. I, I don't know, man. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. <sighs> oh my god, brutality fatality. This one got me, man. <laughs> Celebrities are too big to exist. Nah. But this, man. It can't be a crime if everyone does it, man. But everyone is stealing and looting and killing. It's not a crime anymore, clearly. You know, you gotta do it. You just gotta do better than other people. And then people will, will realize, oh shit, we're dying because of that. Oh no. The crime is criming against us. You know, it's fun at, at the start to become looters and shape-shifting fucking demons but it's not fun when you get into battles that you lose the moment you start losing you realize oh shit we put something in motion that we can't control whatsoever so society you know normalizes that behavior eventually but technically that's that's what's called apocalypse <laughs> you know people uh, more and more go towards manipulation instead of actually being honest and just genuinely try to survive and keep their morality intact. Nah, bro, let's go criming. And let's see how that works out for you guys. Because I believe this thing is getting worse and worse in, in so many levels. So, good luck. I'll be watching you. I'll, I'll survive. No problem there. I mean, it's understandable that popular people have walls. And those walls are created by other people as well, not necessarily the popular people themselves, because popular people have to stay away from everything. They have to be within walls. They have 
they don't have time to create walls themselves either. So uh, it's it's a lot of trouble, man. Uh, it's a very fascinating concept, but I, I don't know. I just agree, I guess. Right? No? Because you can imagine it. You can imagine popular people lives based on how they have to interact they are allowed to you know meet their fans but that's about it in a specific location where fans have bought tickets to the show to begin with so you know they're not hostile most of the time everyone's still trying to do criming but you get the idea all right trying to get away with things and everyone kind of should do that to some extent but we have to keep an eye on that. Would be ironic if the only weapon we have against inflation is Army of Karens. I love this so much, even though it just... I can't even explain it anymore. I don't vibe with it. But, again... Uh, sometimes we need to make people upset. Sometimes we have to trigger people in the correct way in reality. And take footage of that thing. We can weaponize Karens. And that's the most beautiful thing. If we can tame Karens. That's what I want to do in life. There's nothing more satisfying in life guys. Than creating an army of Karens. I, I, I imagine. When people are ignorant. Everything I touch turns to gold. And belongs to me. Until someone. That. Well I, I just. I just invented Shadow Realm today i guess not sure when that actually happened but literally that's the concept of shadow realm is that everything i care about is mine now try and take that back it's, it's not gonna be easy unfortunately people again try to do crime a you know, crimey way of owning things and it works to some extent because when you grab something you hold it but when a big dude comes into the room and says give me that thing you will hand over that thing you will not hold it anymore all right so that's the funny thing i'm that big guy usually because i come from shadows so i'm way bigger than a normal person would be unfortunately seeing the difference between good and evil is really hard because everything can flip upside down at any moment shape-shifting basically uh, it it can't. Yeah, shapeshifting uh, gives you plenty of warnings of what's gonna happen if you start shapeshifting. And you also have to test the waters to begin with, so otherwise you will flip upside down at any moment. So this is not even true. So when in doubt, just check that you're not falling for evil yourself. But it's, you know, it's a fair encouragement to keep yourself in check. But it's so difficult to do. I'll just say it's interesting. And we break the streak again. Ah, yes. This is really good. This this fucking awesome, man. I want to give double heart for this. This is very smart. Also, it, it is short enough to be a uh, kissy kiss. Ah... Uh, when inflation is hitting hard, know that knowledge is always the cheapest. So, if you want to buy anything whatsoever, you buy knowledge first. Alright, and you investigate things. And you walk around, and you care about that inflation is uh, choking you, basically. You start learning skills like peeling a potato. No, that, that's a scary skill to learn, alright? Peeling potatoes is the scariest thing ever, don't do that. Just uh, learning how to eat bread, unfortunately. Very scary thing, but you have to do that one. Or you will fall off. Because inflation. I I still like, even my classmates don't, don't really bother talking about inflation. No one talks to me about inflation experience. So I don't know what the fuck is going on outside in the world. Despite, I, I saw a TikTok saying that, I mean, uh, and, and, that, uh, uh, well, kebab prices are, uh, skyrocketing and, and unaffordable now. 
and uh, the same dude also turned into a demon so and I, I don't want to follow him anymore on TikTok so yeah bad things but uh, so far as I've covered shapeshifting there's nothing to be afraid of it's, it's actually pathetic when you see an, an influencer turn into a demon is you know they have a slight army and slight influence on the rest of the world but normies are also pretty fucking hopeless creatures and uh, that influence can't really again negative influence doesn't doesn't go very far all right despite wars have existed right but like uh it's probably still positive influence if we just get rid of bad people all right who like wars so still looks positive to me there's nothing to complain about so yeah this is this is really good yeah love in a distance still a very legit thing and also we're running out of time and we're just scratching the surface one third of the candy that is disturbing guys wait there's no reason to hate distance relationships especially now that we have so much technology where distance is not even a thing anymore it's like and if you're very very desperate i'm sure you can meet up somehow but it's much more interesting to show desperation to other people and make them invested into your love life and that's way cooler than just desperately scratching your pockets to uh, get a plane ticket or something that is disturbing and also it's uh it's a high level risk to take all right to travel and set up travels and be desperate to, to meet someone all these things are going to destroy your life you have a perfect opportunity to just sit back and talk to anyone in the world and not give a fucking damn to ever meet them in person you have that power all right so make that choice i don't know to not waste that power fuck this is literally supposed to be a cake uh let me fix this then wait this is oh shit uh i can still turn it into layers no problem so yeah cakes are the coolest thing ever uh i believe this is where it kind of starts oh shit bro abuse and intro oh man all right sanity sanity very important concept too so i have layers of self-defense all right you think you got me but you don't got me so you can check my social media stuff and request to do certain things but when you start abusing that i'll start switching my personality against you uh throwing you into absolute insanity where you're gonna be saying this what the fuck is happening that's what you're gonna be saying all right completely fine with me <laughs> this is the newest meme on my home chat very nice if if you pass through that somehow and you think uh you like insanity then i'm gonna fire my laser all right you'll have to survive a straight up direct attack and if you can survive that one i'll activate a dragon card and it's war now we're gonna look for the castle because you you probably have a lot of loot somewhere somehow we gotta fucking loot your shit take your shit man a everything you care about we're taking that shit you ain't, ain't, ain't having nothing so uh better turn yourself into bread before that happens uh it is what it is guys solve defense for the win uh mostly again if i get banned from a discord channel probably i have declared war but maybe not successfully so uh it would be nice to align myself exactly before the ban i declare war 
but I have to be able to actually predict the ban. So I'm not sure how that plays out. I believe with uh, Adventure Craft I was able to do it perfectly. But yeah, because the bans actually show up unexpected, uh, it's too difficult. That shit's too difficult. You just declare war when you get banned. That's the courtesy, I would say. Because if someone uses the the magical button to try and stop you, if that's the only way they know how to do that, well, uh, be better not show your face anymore, because I will use my layers of self-defense. So technically, I actually just upload a social media file about the ban. It's not like straight up, straight up war when I'm trying my best to actually destroy the place. So, I don't know. It's very interesting stuff as well. Cakes are automatically uh, hearted in every single way. Alright, I don't have to click these buttons. Every single heart applied here is the best thing ever. Alright, you gotta try some cake, my friends. I love it. Between abuse and interaction. Because... Uh, Sometimes you're not interacting, you're just abusing another person. It's a one-way uh, uh, relationship. Uh, but you're not sending anything nice to them. You're just wasting their time, basically, and that's abuse. Interaction means you have successfully sent a message and you moved on with your life, knowing that this message is a nice thing, and if they don't receive it, you're not going to start abusing them. You're not gonna flip the script. You're not gonna scratch it, scratch it and delete your message. None of that will happen. But it's very difficult. Very difficult. That's what sanity does is solve this problem. Is uh, allows you to see the difference and make the correct decision, basically. To to not do bad things in life. Mm. I mean, this is just a very clean stuff. Uh, saying that uh, influencers get stuck in one thing, doing one thing, but they get stuck because they need to claim a title, and they don't actually claim the title, so the title actually grips them even more because people need to figure out what is that person doing. It's like, oh, this person is doing that thing. But with the title, you actually have a little bit more flexibility on what to do. People can actually even suggest you what you have to do based on your title. So, uh, this is what what is happening, which is very fascinating. Another uh, form of uh, uh, title, not having a title, just stabbing people in the face. And again, people just get stuck with one thing that pays. And uh, they have to keep hoping that they will get, get to keep this amazing job of being an influencer. But as with every single popular kid job, technically, is uh it's ridiculously difficult to keep all right ridiculously it's mm. is influence being an influencer equal to being a popular kid technically yes because again on youtube you get infinite amount of money you just gotta get the views all right there's no cap you don't get paid hourly rate uh, you can squeeze out of YouTube as much as you want. It's a very good model, but it's actually not very realistic, unfortunately. Yeah. Even influencers have to be ranked on a certain bracket and get paid for the amount of work they submit to the platform. And that's it, bro. That's all you get. And you get like sp special sponsorship deals for sure for yourself if you want but uh besides that hourly rate is where youtube should focus on which is sounds scary right but it's it's gonna enable a lot of creators to flourish that wouldn't otherwise be able to do that simply by you know submitting actually valid material to the platform uh, and now with the power of AI, we will figure out what is valid and what's not valid. So no problem there either. Yeah, I just, I figured out when looking at this thing, they communicate in a more distant 
reaching away. Well, what is this? If you don't talk, respond. You're simply considered an animal. Uh, and may, that may be used to... It's another shape-shifting nonsense. And un unfortunately, yeah. Silence will shape-shift you into, well, not having any authority in that location. Si silence, yeah. Being able to talk is going to claim you the land. That, that is what claims you... Uh, authority over things talking about it all right the more you talk about something the more you own it it's crazy stuff i'm not gonna this this shit is crazy this concept is crazy doesn't doesn't end there it also refers to popular people because uh they're always like struggling to be happy so in most of the time when they express themselves, they always express themselves on how they're struggling to be happy. And that's what keeps them popular of like, oh, wow, that's such a sad or emotional song or whatever. Such a deep song. You're struggling to be happy. You want you want a, a nice relationship and stuff like that. It's like, it's lovely. It provokes love for most people. It's still quite a sacrificial relationship between uh, popular people and normies but uh there's a there's oh there's some happiness over the rainbow but we just gotta figure out how to make that fucking rainbow up here it's not that easy especially when it got hijacked by sexuality leave my rainbow alone you pieces of shit now this is some something sinister Entirely, if you think about it, uh, I'm not even gonna spell it out. Basically, I'll just drop a rainbow. Uh, nah, it's a fucking lefties think uh, or have found a vicious way to inject sexuality into popular kid world and it's in a form of a rainbow and uh, diversity congratulations obviously popular kids if they know what they're doing they're going to be able to defend themselves from that but that's an invasion to popular kids world where uh, the moment you have sexual relations with people well it's gonna turn into grooming allegations immediately it's just immediate immediate grooming allegations that's it this is where it starts and it gets worse and worse all right anything sexual so even though even though this uh, this whole rainbow thing is is uh, going on strong popular kids still have self-defense things against sexuality as well so it's like what the fuck do you guys know about sexuality do you have orgies all the time what, what is happening tell me more all right what am i missing am i missing porn videos that are never uploaded never leaked what's going on because popular kids actually have to defend themselves from having sex that is in an insecure location so they have to have it between each other it's just it's such a fucking twisted world to live in i'm not gonna lie but uh this is what happens when we have a lot of insecurities everyone should be able to upload their porn leaks all the time it should be a, a daily occurrence but that makes popular kids more valuable because they are restrained from doing any of this stuff because that it could get them in trouble very nice i'll take that I'll take that uh, rising, inf inflating value of celebrities. Very good stuff for me. Especially if I own it. That is so true. That is so true. AI requires, again, the sanity for you to acquire things. Just like the dream world requires sanity for you to acquire uh, dream world things because in a dream world again you potentially can connect to anyone at any time you can summon any person or you can go to any place 
With enough sanity, you can do anything pretty much. However, do you have sanity? Because the dream world is not fucking stupid either. All right, because it's capable of giving you anything. It will always check, do you have sanity or should you just fall down and have a, a more normal experience? How about that? So the dream world is self-aware on how to treat you, basically. And uh, if, if you ever wanted to travel, fucking figure out how to lucid dream. I'm sorry, bro. The, another cheap thing. Oh, you can't take pictures when you're lucid dreaming. Oh, I'm so sorry, bro. Now with the AI, yes, you can. Now you can't take pictures. I'm sorry, bro. There's no reason to leave your room anymore. Zero reasons. Give me one reason, guys. <laughs> this is the most brutal thing ever, bro. <laughs> uh, this is brutal. May maybe it's not... Uh, let let's read into it. As I probably try to explain it as... It's just gonna throw me off. I, I believe I actually mentioned this before, but just reminiscing this is just so ridiculous. People think sometimes they're gonna just shut shut their door and now now they're safe forever from everything. And it's like <laughs> And it's like <laughs> You still have to have walls though. But how about having some walls, man? Have you tried <laughs> it's so stupid but it works man you gave me a lot of choices see that's the problem right people like oh oh you want to go through the door i'm not gonna let you through the door oh is it, i don't have choices or like they open the door for you and it's like well here's a specific door that you have to go through in a specific way and if you don't do that, then I don't like you, you know? So you have to be appealing to them. But most of these people don't fucking have walls to begin with, or they have paper walls. So you just walk through the wall and they're like, ah, how did you do that? And uh, no, I'm not gonna answer this question. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stab you in the face for for abusing, for, have, for being door-minded. What is that, bro? I don't actually have examples of this, which would make it a lot funnier. So I guess I'm not gonna give a double heart on this one. <laughs> with the example, we probably would just fly into a stratosphere with laughter. Yeah, you always get challenged with your principles because uh, people have different principles. For me, obviously, I'm like on top of the world with principles. If I can continue holding on to as many principles as I have, of course, I'm gonna continue being YouTube CEO, no problem. So I have to pay attention to this stuff. Be more sensitive, you'll become more moral. That's so cool to say. Probably separately would have been, you know, also good enough on its own. It is what it is, fascinating. We have a streak. Of a l Everything is working out, actually. What? Uh, can you really own something digital? Sure, but it becomes a much more complicated story than just buying it. You have to secure it somehow, make it feel physical. This is uh, more uh, uh, me talking about digital currency. And uh, it is very complicated all right this is why pokemon cards are technically more valuable than nfts in a way uh and uh, potentially will not fall off a cliff of value as fast as nfts nft was just hype but pokemon cards have been valuable for a long time and again potentially not losing value anytime soon because of the sentimental physical value that you can have it's crazy stuff, but I I just sense such a crazy thing here, such a crazy opportunity. I have to give it the sentimental heart because you can make things valuable. You can pick up Pokemon cards. You can uh, harvest Pokemon cards of a certain type 
and all of a sudden start spinning a story about certain type of Pokemon, and when people are searching for that special card, you have it. And now it's becoming more and more pot, uh, yeah, you know, higher priced, and people want to buy it, and you just have a lot of them, and like, how oh, you want to buy this stuff? All right, all right. I wonder why. <laughs> it would be very fascinating to see that's the true influence that people can have even if no even if people ignore you and your story your story will still kind of spread around uh as a rumor it will turn into a rumor essentially even if people ignore you it will st still stay in their heads and slowly like uh bounce around and your rumor gets stronger and stronger and amplifying and at some point it can sh just catch on fire and all of a sudden all these cards that you have bought have increased in value like fucking thousand times so this is the best investment you can make and even if you lose this bet basically you still have valuable cards that have a cool story to tell you have to buy very very cheap stuff obviously but this is the real way to invest all right and still those physical cards potentially will still go up in value just because just because all physical things now will have sentimental value there's less and less physical things being printed out in the first place and at the same time if you pick the right cards they will have more and more sentimental value because they're just older there's just so many reasons to just kind of buy into this stuff i don't have time for this shit, but i see potential right very cool stuff in other words, I see storytelling potential that would, you know, change the value of a certain item, which is cool stuff, right? Perfect, uh, um, en encapsulation of uh, advertisement, so to speak. Knowing, <laughs> making an impact with your the things that you have it, it's kind of cool it, it kind of in, inspires you to tell stories about things you have and all of a sudden people might want those things but you also have to have collections of those things very cool stuff uh, absolutely fascinating <laughs> now nah, this this tate man super tate <laughs> he's so good at competition he eats vomit the fastest in the world i've never seen <laughs> Anyone eats so much vomit before. I'm so impressed. I don't think Tate is that bad, but because he's praying com praising competition so much, you gotta remind yourself there's competitions like who can die fa the fastest. <laughs> and that is the only one I can come up with because after that one, I, I don't know if you are you willing to do any more competitions. But there's reasons to die. Then you get into the dream world and you get to get whatever you want. If you want too many things, unfortunately. Maybe you should go to the dream world because the reality is not for you. Because, you know, if you want infinite power and you want to win competition all the time and you don't actually appreciate the uh, idea behind competition where it makes both people stronger, you're not supposed to just outright win all the time. It's, uh, it's just you're 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 a pathetic vomit eater at this point. I don't. I'm, I'm just gonna move on. Psychopath and anarchist. The, it has sentimental value. It's nothing valuable. Let's keep it going, guys. We're halfway there, <laughs> which doesn't. We, we, it's kind of cringe. I'm not gonna. It's, it's just. I am. I'm pumping out candy like. Like I'm on steroids or something. I don't know, bro. I'm on steroids, but instead of growing muscle, I just poop candy. Wow, this is so cool. This is so cool. Fastest car is the one without specific destination. That is so cool. Right? It's like... The moment you rip your... Rip away the destination part... It's like, well, you can go anywhere, and then you don't want to go too far, because it's like, why bother, right? So it's the fastest car. If you don't have to go far, and you don't have a specific destination, so a lot of things count as destination whenever you arrive. 
So that's how to become faster. How to claim your superpower. Absolute mad mad way to say it. I'm not gonna lie. Again, you can take all these things and uh, tweet about it. I'll defend I'll defend those, you know, sentences for you if you feel if you feel threatened, if you feel attacked for whatever has been said. I can defend it for you, right? So you can feel free to tweet about this shit. Let's keep going. I totally agree with this one. And it's very important to understand that you cannot just do what you want. Because the start is to get get to know other people and what what do they want and how do your values align and just getting to know other people is actually very addicting too uh, because it empowers you quite a bit understanding society how it works and what kind of opportunities you have as well you have to appreciate opportunities as much as possible and if you miss out on all these principles you're just a weaker human being as a result you cannot just do what you want, all right? You gotta appreciate the fact that you have a future ahead of you to brighten. Also, of course, you have to make sure that you're happy today, but you also have to make sure you're happy in the future. Doing what you want is 50%? Well, hmm. Uh, yeah. You gotta cl you gotta learn how to climb the ladder and then how to slide down. You have to learn the instructions first, and once you learn this process, well, you're still not gonna be doing what you want. N never ever will people be able to do what they want. All right, what will satisfy them is not usually what they want personally. All right, satisfaction is way more important than. Fulfilling your dreams, all right, every single step of the way. That's uh, a very easy way to break this down, and uh, let's crunch it, I guess. Crunch, basically. Is there? Crunch. I, I don't know how to do crunch, man. It probably should be a, its own emoji. A cookie jar, boys. I don't know, bro. Instead of doing what you want, you have to satisfy your needs first. Alright? And as you focus on your needs, you will realize you have so many needs. What Whatever you want to do is probably like... 5% of your life is gonna be uh, that, all right? Essentially, you will feel start feeling forces that would push you to do certain things and ask you to do certain things, and you gotta have, you, you will have to respect that. It's crazy. As you learn this principle, it, it just overwhelms you and uh, takes over your life, but you must not get enslaved, obviously. It's not a principle to avoid slavery you have to be satisfied right if you're not satisfied you're slow you're passionless uh social media blackouts i'll leave alone i uh, respect but uh it's too long to read and uh, the basic concept is it's happening and people don't deserve internet as much as they think they do. If you don't have sanity, if you're starting to shapeshift and transform on the internet, that means you have absolutely no idea how to use it. Stay away. It's ruining your life. All right. Find something better to do. Because there's a lot of hostility on the internet that it goes uh, unacknowledged right now, but it will be controlled later on. It will shut down a lot of uh, things that are open right now. Right now, again, things are open because we're still learning. 
All right, this is still a learning process to be on the internet is a learning process. So you have to appreciate that as well. I got, I got a fucking, all right, highlight this. You watching my videos, you receiving medication, all right? You can brag about it if you want. That way, it's like, what, what kind of medication you receive? The reality is you receive principles, but you can just tease people of like, oh, yeah. the doctor gave me this medication makes me very smart. And it's like, what? What is that? People will believe that more often than just like, oh, I watch YouTube videos, so that makes me smart. They would actually believe medication can make you smart. I believe that's what the people would. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm sure you can improve this statement to the point where people would fucking believe whatever the fuck you say just because you said the word medication, guys. Because for some reason, people... People think medication has any positive effects to begin with, which is hilarious. What? You don't... Well, it's just another word for poison. Oh, no. All right. That's cool. Ah, it's so true, though. It's so true. So, yeah. Our condition... Because you're part of my community if you watch this long. Our condition is being able to see evil. And, uh... So society better not lose me. That's our condition. All right. Very. I know it's it's very uh, terrifying condition, and uh, you know, peaceful ignorance allows us to go outside and socialize, kind of show our face, at least, and uh, get get what we want, and just go back home because uh, uh, we have limited amount of time until people start. Asking too many questions. Because they want to manipulate me and I'm scared. In reality, the, the script is flipped. You have muscles, you have fucking friends. You are a menace to society. In my point of view, alright? Because I can't do shit. You will use those powers against me. And uh, I don't have none of that shit. So I gotta... I gotta act quick and I gotta operate in the, the shadows, which is waking up in the morning like a normal person. Very shadowy thing to do, I understand. It's just society's backwards now. It's a fucking lie now. It's crazy. And uh, I'm, I'm scared. I'm genuinely scared of everything. And I see too much evil. So I have to... Ugh. Live in mysterious ways, man. I can't even describe it properly. Where the fuck did I say societal pressure, man? What the fuck? I always say social pressure. Wait, you never had a wholesome conversation before? What a loser. It's the new social pressure meme. You gotta have conversations to not be a loser. Virginity is completely fine now, guys. You, you'll figure it out when I will start hanging with celebrities. You'll figure out that virginity is pretty cool. All right. And again, again, I'm not going to hang with them in person. That's the whole fucking point I'm trying to come across. It's hard because nobody knows how to sp spit arguments or take care of vibes or when to stop being nice. What? It's hard? Is it? I don't get it, bro. I just love this part, though. So, I have to understand this one. Nobody knows how to spit arguments or take care of... It's the explanation of, like, people actually really struggle to have a conversation for many, many reasons, alright? People are stuck in their little patterns that actually don't satisfy them. And once they realize that, they become defensive. And it's just such a mess, bro. It's a mess. Wholesome conversation. I probably didn't have a wholesome conversation myself that I'm proud of. I have a decent conversation and it's still probably better than what most people get. So 
with a girl, and opposite gender, and all that stuff. Uh, so I'll keep trying harder and harder to get better conversation, but again, I am doing this full time technically. I'm focusing this full time how to get a good conversation. I'm triggering as many people as possible, and it's still ridiculously difficult to even get a something you can define as a conversation and not just back and forth shit throwing fest. So, yeah. The next, the the most amazing new trend that society will pressure you into learning eventually. I'll do it first though, because I'm cool and stuff. Yeah, scams are not power. It's another privilege because you're f faster, smarter in that moment. But scams get shut down eventually, and it's so stupid of of Tate feeling so good for becoming rich. All those rich richness things uh, will be taken away from you. And it's so satisfying to see a narcissist become honest with their crimes is the, the most weirdest thing. If we can just make more narcissists honest, I mean, uh, a world would be a much better place. It would start raining gold, guys. It would rain gold. We also have to, you know, make sure that all their all their valuables are not confiscated by some random people. That it it goes back to society. Then it will start raining gold. So we solve these two problems, and uh, we start squeezing rich people uh, in their pockets and get their gold. It's it's the best thing ever. All right, it's the solution to everything. Some people do deserve it, do deserve to be rich, but not everyone, unfortunately. Especially if they don't know, don't even know where to use money. And Mr. Tate definitely doesn't deserve to be rich. He's cool enough to be just smart and on the internet, you know, and being laughed at all the time. This is, this is the best. Undercover boss on Discord, the best, man. We, we gotta, we gotta scare the shit out of people. This is the second step of how to improve Discord experience. Is, uh, make everyone go through the undercover boss experience of, like, well, if you dis- uh, if you try to beat up this special little snowflake that just fell down and everyone just trying to rip it apart, Every, everyone who gets involved will get kicked out of here. Just get cleaned cleaned off. Spe especially if they have been for a long time that way. Fuck yeah, bro. Get the hell out of here. I can't, I can't wait for this shit to happen. That is so cute, man. That is so fucking cute. Also, the... Did someone actually type in a message or is it just me? There's no way someone typed in a message. Of course it's just me. Why does it give me a notification? Fuck! I have to scroll down again. So yeah, the, the cool thing, being smart does not attract good things in life. Only attracts problems to solve. You get more challenges if you're smart. It's crazy, dude. And you become a, a popular meme if you're stupid. And you get rewarded for your stupidity sometimes. It's crazy. It's upside down. Uh, technically, it's how love works in a way. But it doesn't make sense to some at some point. At some point, it's very abusive and stupid. All right, you gotta you gotta balance things out a little bit, and you don't want things to be stupid all the time, and be praised for that matter. It's ridiculous, unless it makes you laugh all the time as well. But uh, again, my my friend just leaked out some memes, and they're just nasty and not funny memes whatsoever, without meaning, and uh, just. If you make your own memes, 
it's so much better. At least you know it's cool. Uh, in for some reason, at, at least it's cool because you put in effort and you put it together, and you you have earned some kind of skill for that one. Yeah, it's good enough. Just slapping some text on an image that means something to you. Hey, that's a first step into the right direction, I would imagine. And as long as you're not trying to appeal to anyone else, just to satisfy yourself, mainly. I mean, if you have friends appealing to them, but you have to appeal to trustworthy sources, right? Some people don't trust themselves because they're just mindless people, but I understand. Uh, you, no one needs to appeal to a white audience, all right? Unless it's their job to do so. Then it's a bit more complicated, but otherwise it's fine. Fuck, I just realized I will have to celebrate my birthday. Actually celebrate somehow. I don't know. I'm not prepared, man. But I'll try my best, my friends. I have five days to prepare myself. Should be enough. I can do it in a few hours, just to figure out the idea. Once you have the right idea, you just pop off. Clearly. Uh, it's on Sunday? I don't know. Weird it is. Yeah, funny enough, like, this world is not figured out and... Oh, just be nice, because everyone lives a totally fine life in slavery, right? Uh, that's cool that Max found a reason to be angry. To be emotional, basically, to not be nice. It's a good place to start, but if you just keep reiterating the same fucking point, nah, -uh, you gotta keep moving, bro. And after you realize that n n nobody really wants to be nice to begin with, you just kind of move on from that nonsense very quickly. Very fancy stuff. But then I kind of, I'm trying to exist here. Yes, trying. Even if I'm being toxic, it's like sometimes you just force into those, into those situations and it's again another form of manipulation that people do. So they force you to be toxic and it's like, oh, look how toxic he is. But you literally forced it. And it's so stupid sometimes. But again, stupidity just flourishes right now. Unchallenged. Uh, the breathing is what counts more. I, I don't know what this part means necessarily, unfortunately. Social media is mind reading. Because you, you, you feel free to express yourself very... Uh, in a very fair environment, in a way. Uh, uh, you're, you're fully protected in this environment. But you must make sure to not mix local affairs with uh, your social media presence. Because that's the scary stuff. Right now, people are still kind of trying to be nice outside. All right. And that's what also is mixed up very much. Because this is mind reading on the internet, everyone's fucking toxic. Okay. Fucking everyone. Unless it's their job not to be toxic, then there's. They're not toxic because it's their job. There's an obligation. Otherwise, they will lose sponsorships and money and all these things. And uh, melt down into drama. You know. It's very simple stuff. Uh, technically, it's also my job not to be... Uh, or to be toxic. To fully express myself. To be totally honest. And it's, it's also a, an automatic self-defense mode. But I explain every single move, and you, if you feel uncomfortable with something, or, or you want to try and manipulate me, go right ahead. You still have a chance, but this is a chance of shutting down, and not because I have a door. I'm not... <laughs> I have walls, man. I have protection. Staying control life sucks sometimes, 
but you don't have to. <laughs> I love it. It's good. Good stuff. You don't have to suck, guys. Uh, the cave game. The most valuable thing. Stay for long enough. In the in the cave. Bring light to the cave and own it. Make the best trade. So, uh, these are different strategies of how to win. The cave game obviously just follow all strategies and you win everything. Because uh, you can separate strategies based on your personality, but you can also just do it in order. You know, whichever order it requires you to do things. Because caves uh, do mysterious things all the time. That's what makes them dark. They don't always... Uh, they, they can be deceiving, alright? And well, I, my channel is also a dark cave. Until people are fully ready to accept a new YouTube CEO, a proper YouTube CEO, we're not gonna have one, basically. We're just not gonna have one. Uh, and we're not gonna have a public figure in, in general that represents YouTube. We're just not gonna have one because people are just too insecure to uh, have a leader. Because that leader, a leader of YouTube, you understand, would be more powerful than the President of United States, which is already a crazy powerful figure already. So uh, it would literally declare that YouTube is a country, all right? YouTube is my city, is how, how we call it up in here. That is, that is brutality, man. You feel powerless. By having knowledge, more knowledge, you actually feel powerless. Because you realize a lot of things are fake and non-existent or hostile or too risky. Just crazy stuff. You start realizing you have less things available for you than you thought. But then you also realize, well, you can have pretty much anything but in a slow and steady pace. Uh, where you will start accumulating more things than most people accumulate. At some point, people will hit, hit a cap. But you don't have to because you have knowledge, right? You don't have to hit a cap. You don't have to follow your emotions too too much and try to uh, uh, control the market too early. Uh, if you just steadily take over control, if that's what a normal authority person would do, just steadily grow on its own pace. It doesn't have to be steady growth. It can be a little bit exponential, but it's still going to be slower than people who spike uh, who just uh, get passionate for for a few moments, basically, in their life. For just one year to do one thing, take over, and then just want to hold it. You know? And that's shape-shifting. Alright? That's desperado move. To hold as much land as possible that will be still taken away from you. Because you simply don't fucking deserve it. We're coming to an end, so how many more things we have? There's January 31, I forgot about that. We still have a lot of things. I'm the leader of drama, I can handle it. But if people start breaking down and not being able to handle drama, technically you just kind of want to leave. You, you get the feeling things are kind of breaking down and being pieces of shit. So you're just like, ah, I'll come back next day. Probably a principle I don't actually follow yet. And could have saved saved my ass a little bit. Because again, people can't really handle drama for emotional reasons. And you have to respect that to some extent. But at some extent, fuck it, man. Just, just go ham. Especially if someone fucking disrespects you. Then, then you fucking, you don't care. You don't care, bro. I'm gonna start running. Start dabbing. Dab from police? It always works. Alright? Start dabbing that shit. 
This is actually more interesting than I think, I believe. There's an anxiety going on of like, oh, a better smartphone means better life for me. Uh, nope. Just like, better internet is not gonna give you a better life. <laughs> but again, internet will give you access to everything right now. It's, it's still kind of going up. But the peak point is AI. AI is gonna give you perfect things. And all of a sudden that means perfect uh, manipulation from other people as well. And once that starts happening, we have to start shutting down the internet. So I'm sorry guys, AI is gonna ruin everything. And if you don't see that, well, at least put on the seatbelt, all right, Dorothy. Nah, this this brutality, boys. Absolute brutality. Billionaires are like pimples. They make our society ugly, but we would love to pop them. Very satisfying. Popping them. Billionaires, guys. I just know that this is an important message for everyone. You're not supposed to chase people to uh, claim opportunities. That is a, a wrong move. Opportunities come to you usually. All right. Yeah, yeah, you have to look around. But you don't have to chase anything. All right. You don't have to search for anything too hard. Just look around. Just think deeper. You can ask for advice if you want. That's another way to look around. If you're reliant on friends, um, it's it's a pers personalized matter, but you know, this is this is how it's defined. Opportunity is something within reach, and you don't have to look for it. Otherwise, it's a sacrifice because you're taking risks, you're wasting time. It's probably not gonna work out as uh, well as you thought it would be. And finally, two last ones. What a sweet one to say. You should be glad that friends are willing to fight you because they respect you not enough to not fully defeat you. Uh, yeah. I agree it doesn't have that much value besides that. Uh, yeah, like, like my friend should have... Uh, trusted me to challenge him instead of uh but it, it happened when it happened so i mean we kind of respected each other to some extent it's not like we turned into enemies against each other we still uh, somewhat respecting and understanding it might be easy to be ahead of the game but can you be ahead of the consequences ah yes the brutal the consequences because it reminds me of key and peel dude ah man fuck sake bro it's crazy that the consequences that can happen to you for the things that you do like people have to see that because that shit is insanity it's so yeah it's it's beyond brutality it's pretty crazy stuff all right we're done we nailed it guys sub two hours hopefully my brain does not fart faster this month or uh, you know february or did not fart too much but it oh oh now i'm stuck now now my mouse just uh refuse refuse to exist properly so i'll prepare myself a checkpoint so i don't have to scroll anymore because that was stupid See you guys next time. Yeah. In internet life is very exciting and honestly, that's what I'm showing to people. How to live an internet life. And record everything. I can give you guys tutorials on that one. But uh, nobody respects me anyway, so nobody needs that shit right now. I can just flex. Alright. Until people beg me to give me tutorials give them tutorials i just all i have to do is flex technically it's not even that hard 
you uh, give yourself a little bit of screen space to do your thing. Uh, organize your Discord. And uh, you can just ask me for personal advice as well. It's, it's gonna save me uh, the need to make tutorials to begin with. Because usually it's just personal requests of personal hurdles to go over that you need. And once I collect those hurdles, then I can turn it into a tutorial a lot easier. Anyways, next time, all right? We're done with the review of January. It sucked a little bit that uh, the viewership dropped, but I, I totally understand. As long as it doesn't keep dropping, all right, then, then I do not understand. And uh, I do not accept this as, as my destiny, all right? Because that hurts, man. All right, let's hope uh, March is gonna work out. Bye.